Hi guys, this video is on the nervous system and this makes up part of the module on animal responses for unit 5 and the rest of the module will be the brain and muscle and I can do that so if you comment below um, asking for it I will do that and I can post that tonight and I can also make some videos on the other modules um, if you request them and I'll post that tonight or tomorrow because I know the exam is really close. Okay, so the central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord and it's made of grey matter and white matter and grey matter is billions of non-myelinated nerve cells and white matter are longer myelinated axons and dendrons and they're white because of the myelin, that's what gives it its colour. And then anything that's not in the central nervous system will be in the peripheral nervous system which will be on the left hand side in this diagram and sensory neurons will carry an impulse from the peripheral nervous system to the central nervous system and they have their cell body within the peripheral nervous system and you should know this from unit, five, unit 4 and that's the direction of the impulse is towards the central nervous system so that's for sensory so from there the impulse is picked up by a relay neuron and a relay neuron exists only within the central nervous system so it doesn't go into the peripheral nervous system at all and again this comes up in unit 4 because unit 5 is a synoptic module so they can ask these questions and the direction of the impulse will be from the sensory to the motor so that's the relay neuron and then finally, you have your motor neuron. Now, motor neurons, again from unit 4, you should know that they have their cell body within the central nervous system and that they carry an impulse from the central nervous system to the peripheral nervous system. So this is the direction of the impulse there. And this is the motor. Now, for the syllabus, you need to know that there are two types of motor neurons. You have somatic and autonomic. And somatic motor neurons carry impulses from the central nervous system to skeletal muscles. So if you think S for somatic, S for skeletal. And there, that is under voluntary control, so you know that you're moving it. And then autonomic, if you think autonomic, automatic. So that carries impulses from the central nervous system to anything that isn't under voluntary control so that you do automatically and that's things like cardiac muscle for the beating of the heart or smooth muscle in the gut um, or to glands and there's something else you need to know about somatic is that it's generally made up of myelinated neurons and that's why it's mostly white matter and autonomic is mostly grey matter because it's generally non-myelinated neurons um, somatic also generally have one neuron to carry the impulse whereas autonomic generally have a neuron and then a ganglion connecting the two and then another neuron okay so I'm going to draw a somatic so that you can see that and then I'll carry on talking about autonomic so a somatic neuron again I'm going to flip the diagram so that the central nervous system is now going to be on the left So as I said before, a motor neuron will have its cell body within the central nervous system and these are dendrites here and it will carry to skeletal muscle, so skeletal and because it's white matter it's myelinated the main thing to remember here is that at the synapse the neurotransmitter substance that's released is acetylcholine. That's the most important thing to remember. So that's acetylcholine, and that will carry the impulse to the skeletal muscle. So that one is somatic, and notice that it is only one neuron. Okay, and then, as I was saying, so autonomic, that can be broken down into two different types of neurons so you have parasympathetic and sympathetic and they're antagonistic so they have the opposite effects so 
parasympathetic is active in sleep and relaxation and sympathetic is active in stress so sympathetic will have more kind of adrenaline type um effects so again if we do sympathetic because it's a motor neuron it will have its cell body within the central nervous system and this time the main thing that you need to remember for sympathetic is it has a really short preganglionic neuron this can be myelinated so i'll draw it myelinated but it also doesn't need to be because it's quite short and then this goes to a ganglion and at the synapse here between the two neurons you have the neurotransmitter substance is acetylcholine so just like before it's acetylcholine and then what you need to remember here is that the postganglionic neuron is has a different neurotransmitter substance to this so the postganglionic neuron which will be longer than this side will actually transmit noradrenaline And that will go to anything for um, that's not under your control. So smooth muscle, cardiac muscle glands, like I said before. And the other thing you need to remember about sympathetic is the effect. And that will be anything like the effects of adrenaline, like increased heart rate or increased ventilation rate um, and pupil dilation, things like that. So that's sympathetic. And then the other type of autonomic neuron will be parasympathetic. And like I said before, they're antagonistic. So they're the, basically the opposite of each other. So again, you'll have the cell body here. But instead of this, you'll have a longer preganglionic neuron. It can be short because they can vary in length. But it will generally be longer than in the sympathet sympathetic and this can be myelinated as well. And then you have your ganglion. And here again you'll have acetylcholine as your neurotransmitter substance. But instead of transmitting noradrenaline here, it will be acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter substance. And also remember that this side will not be myelinated this side will, this side won't, that's the same for the sympathetic and again this will transmit to anything that's not under your control so smooth muscle, glands, cardiac muscle and the effects here that you need to know are like I said antagonistic so you'll have decreased heart rate and decreased ventilation rate and pupil constriction and things like that so that's for the parasympathetic nervous system thank you for watching this video and um, if you like it please give it a thumbs up and comment below and i'll post some more tonight if you like um, you can request any video thank you bye